Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Wanoli, and welcome to Kingdom of Hero Tactics War. Now, I just found this game on the Q app and am going to be trying it out now. Uh, this game is made by NeoWiz. Alright, so they got the typical portrait back and forth thing. Right, let's go ahead and skip that and get straight into the tutorial and see what's up. On first impression. Oh my, she actually looks... Our work is always pretty nice in some of these games, for sure, but the, the models are less to be desired, personally. So we got Sif, huh? Alright, so obviously this is another tactics game. So we're going to get into it and see how it is. Oh, she actually looks pretty sick, too. Oh, do they have animated um, loading screens? Alright, looking at it, it's not too half bad. It's like enemy... What else? Good or bad? Okay, so it has, like, elemental weakness. So if I was to move here, that's green. So probably fire, wind, water, you know, stuff like that. So it seems like we only have like two skills, huh? I guess that would be something a lot of people would like. Especially, hold on. Okay, yeah. Maybe there's like passives, if anything. But a lot of people wouldn't be behind having like two skills because they feel like it's lacking if it has like two skills. Alright, round two. To be honest, with the screenshots, when I saw the two skills, I was just like, eh. It probably is lacking because with the Alchemist code, you would get like so many other skills now let's use this so this is pretty much well the way I see it it's pretty much um like a more beginner base when it comes to like tactic games Let's just say lower end. Let's say that. But I love that they have auto tracking for attacks. So if you click an enemy that is outside of your range, your character will automatically go to a range where they can attack. So that's actually pretty nice. Don't really see a lot of tactics games do that anymore. All right, we're gonna get into summons. What you got? Oh, this guy. All right, so we got an archer now. Yeah, like I said, the whole wind, water, and fire. Those are the only elements for the actual wheel, so it's just a triangle, and then you have um, light and dark versus each other and neutral to all pretty straightforward well I guess another word would be it's more of a simple tag this game let's say that that's what I should have said Companions. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, it does show off what you summon, I guess. Free movement and ending turn. Sometimes you can't attack, so you gotta end your turn. A lot of rift discoveries. Okay, those are probably like, um, if you guys have played Summoner Wars, it's probably like that a little bit. I am interested to see if you learn other skills with all this space right here. I'm guessing you do. 
Oh, and if you defend, you actually get a defense buff. I mean, I could do that, but that would be wise. Are you serious? You have to move right there? Okay, then. As an archer, I thought you would be able to attack way further than anyone else, but alright. He's gonna go around. Oh no, he's gonna come right here. I have to say, if I don't kill, he's going around. Okay, so you can move the screen. Thank God. <laughs> now just go right here. There we go. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. All right, round two. Uh, personally, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna bait you guys over here, if anything. So with the map, it a lot changes. Oh, well, that's not a good thing. Um, kill you. Oh, dear God. Yeah, we gotta kill you, like, soon. Right now, we gotta heal her. Because we already know what's coming next. Focused. Done. Probably could have went for him, too. Wait, what? Okay, that didn't happen last time. Okay, then. <laughs> I I might slick play this on a low, though. Because I actually like this. I, I, I'm a person who can actually get behind simple RPGs sometimes. Well, simple tactics games sometimes. I want to see if there's more skills. Yeah, this seems like there's more skills. Probably more passives, if anything. Can I go here? God darn it, I'm tired of you keeping me away from all this cool stuff. Okay, and they also have the um, 10 turn fusion. So you can try to enhance over 10 times. Okay, so there are different sets. How many other sets are there? No? So cover HP when attack, so basically vampire. Um, attack, crit, speed. Alright, pretty much the standards. Alright, now let me look at skills. I was, wasn't going to do something like that, but alright. So you're basically saying I need duplicates or these skill fairies. Okay, pretty much like the standard games, what they always do. So they do have a third skill. It's just locked. I'm not sure when that opens up, to be honest. Is it like awakening them to a certain level? Yeah, it's pretty much get them awakened. Then they gain their third skill. So basically, like uh, Seven Knights in a little in a little way, but Seven Knight already has like has like three skills, but they have like a fourth awakening. But this one's pretty much gives you another awakened skill. Well, pretty much gives you awakened skill if you awaken them. So that's actually not half bad. I thought there were only like two skills, and that was it. Three skills off an awaken is it's actually not. All that bad when it comes to a tactics game. That just means there's a little bit of farming for you to go through. And once you get your good awakened characters, you're pretty much set. Alright, so the first thing I would do in this game is probably search for runes. Oh, did you guys let go of my hand? Thank you. That was quick. Oh, we got a four star. What are these scrolls? 
Oh, they're actually uh, really good scrolls. So she has these three skills. That's what she's awakened, right? Oh, these guys actually do kind of have something very close to um, Summoner Wars. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out. <laughs> but yeah, very close to something that is similar to Summoner Wars. Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, it is Locke. It's why I awakened her. What does she look like awakened? Man, pretty much the same. Just without the, all the details, you know. I definitely like the portrait art, though. The portrait art looks really nice. No, I wanted to go there. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go to the main quest. Jeez. Just wanted to get the scroll. That was it. Nothing more. Alright, let's go summon. I is down. Okay, so we can use 10 summons. Thank God. I was about to say, don't make me summon one at a time. See what we get. Hopefully something good. Okay, another 3 star. Uh, let's see. Paralyzes. Uh, successful attacks decrease the target's speed gauge. And oh, yeah, this is definitely like some of the wars because they have the speed gauge thing that goes up gradually. Okay. I, I probably could get behind this if it has better summoning rates. <laughs> uh, throw, totally not throwing any shots around, I, I swear. Anywho, let's go on to the next one. Bigfoot. What do you have? Push the target away. Move with one. T oh, okay. So he has a different. Well, obviously, since it's a tactics versus like a actual RPG turn base. Um, yeah, obviously they're gonna have different skills from Summoner Wars. But push the targets away by one tau, which is actually pretty decent to get like probably attackers off here for a turn. Well, maybe actually, nah. I guess if there is terrain, like lava or something like that, I guess that would be pretty good. But it also increases the caster defense. Well, a 50% chance of increasing his defense. Um, his second skill, spin attack, with a chance of knockback and stun. Number of successful stuns will guarantee a recovery so you'll be healing yourself if it like does a successful stun so it's pretty much like enemies around you okay that's not half bad let's keep going this guy looks like a badass put your enemy back with a shield moving together oh so you can separate enemies pretty much so this character could go around push an enemy into my group and pretty much block off any access or other characters coming around and we could just single one target out i'm just thinking of strategies right now <laughs> as a chance of decreasing the target's action gauge Slams one target and increases your defense when the target gauge is lower. It has a chance of stunning. Lower than 50%, huh? Okay, that's not bad. I didn't read Bigfoot, so I should probably start reading the third skills at least. Damages all foes that come in contact. Provokes one turn. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, I was, I was thinking too far into that. <laughs> I thought it was just like, hey, he, does he have to attack you to get that or something like that? So the thing that throws me off is none of the characters have passives. So that's something I really don't like is none of the characters have passive. All they do, all they have is just straight up active skills. I would love passives though. 
but I guess some characters probably have passives inside of their like skills here out of the three. Like uh, some of the wars did. Uh, I'm guessing. Not a huge fan of Tatha's game never giving characters passives, so. Oh my, she looks interesting. Does she actually have the snake though? That's the real question. Attacks an enemy with a 65% oh, chance of decreasing their mobility. Not how bad if you want them to stay back a turn. Uh, fires a powerful cool beam. Cool beam? <laughs> Alright, second skill. Uh, okay, I, I thought I could just click it once and it would stay up, but now it disappears. Alright, if the opponent's speed is at a reduced state, then, then they will fate for one turn. So is that basically like a stun is what fate is, I guess? Alright, third skill. Listen to Snake Whisper. Okay, so this is a passive. Alright, so I was right. There are like actual passes within like your third skill. And there are some characters with leader skills or no leader skills from what I've noticed. Has a chance of removing buffs. Uh, push the target away one tile. Has a chance to immobilize, immobilize them, which is actually pretty good. for Against melee units, that is. But that's just, that's just like one tile. Maybe it goes up to two. Two tiles. If it moves two tiles and has a chance of mobility, then that would be fantastic. But Crusader is actually looking pretty nice. Blessing the targets. Oh, so I can put this on other people since it says increase the targets attack and not self. Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Cherry. Critical Strikes has a chance of constant damage, which is pretty much poison. Um, second skill, inflicts damage, pushback target. There's a lot of pushback targets. Leaves a deep wound with a 70% chance of decreasing defense. Okay, so we got a, another Arthur, so we can just duplicate that. Cut the enemy in front. Okay. <laughs> Just can't get more simple than that. Just cut an enemy. Second skill. Attack adds... The, okay. The attack adds 15% crit damage. The attack increased based on... Oh, damage is increased based on the number of debuffs that Caster has. So you can build a debuff team and just bring her in and just kill somebody pretty straight up yeah that, that's actually not half bad weaken the targets defense and speed if an enemy dies from your attack you're oh you pretty much get an increase is that a leader skill no she has four skills but this being a passive this is awakened passive Okay, some of these characters are, like, really weird, then. Okay. So, I'm guessing some of them have three skills, some of them have four skills, some of them have awake. What the fuck is that? Um, excuse me? I have no idea what that is, so I'm not even going to question it. Well, I guess most of this game is still in, like, Korean, huh? I mean, this was found on... The Q app, so yeah. All right, let's read her first and third skill. Did um, has a chance to increase evasion for one turn. Is base is power is based on your max HP, so I could just build max HP or, or evasion or speed, whichever one. Probably max HP would be the best build for this character. All right, attacks character with wind and decreases their mobility. The greater the Self, max HP, the greater the effect of the spell. Okay, I'm sorry for butchering most of this when reading, but I have to get used to this game's like terms, so I can easily just go through all this. Yeah, this guy is three too, but he has like straight up two skills. 
So I'm guessing there's a rarity. There's definitely a rarity going on. Alright, so we got stuff again. Alright, so attacks three enemies at once. Three enemies at once. Wait, one? Does she just select any target that's in that range, I'm guessing? When an attack hits under hill prevention, inflicts constant damage, okay, for one turn. I wonder if constant damage stacks. If that's the case, that could actually be pretty strong. Because we already learned that in most games, if constant att damage is stacked, it just eats away at HP for bosses and stuff. Alright, second skill. Successful attacks has a chance of disrupting heals. Alright, good for PvP if there is a PvP in the game. Successful crit attacks increase your HP. Lancelot. Successful crit decreases enemy's defense and increases your... Oh, no, increases the power of the attack based on your defense. So you want to build defense on this character, push back enemy and chance to decrease their attack by 1%. But hold up, it doesn't say how much it pushes them back, so that's that's an interesting thing there. Oh, when awakened, increase your defense by 20% in battle. Each time you get hit by a melee attack, counterattack them with a 30% chance. Okay, that's not half bad, to be honest. Especially if you're running defense and the defense is like really high. That could actually be dangerous. Okay, we got her again. Who the hell are you? Zagon? Zagan? I think it's Zagan. So pretty much self-absorbing gives one... Wait. Absorbs the target's soul. Successful absorption gives 40% words. Successful absorption gives 40% chance of decreasing the target's mobility. Whoops, my bad. Like I said, I'm still learning these guys like sentences because every game has like their own basic sentences like Knight's Chronicle, I can get used to theirs after reading it after a while because I know what to expect. All right, let's see. Second skill. Having a 45% chance of disabling recoveries. Uh, since a storm of magic, successful crit chance, additional damage. Wow, just everything's based on crit. Why? Why is that, though? Why is everything based on crit? But I gotta say, I, I wanted to read everything just because it's interesting to see, like, another Tactics game spin on things. And considering that this game doesn't really have, like, a lot of skills on certain characters, I'm kind of curious of how they're going to balance everything. So my bad for taking all day reading most of these skills. I just had to see that. You guys saw, too, that some of these characters have less skills than others. I want to take a look in the collection and see if that's the case for everybody else. Okay, no, not this. Alright. Five star has three skills and a passive. Five star has three skills and a leader. Five star has three skills and a... Heal. Okay. Okay, so Awakens. So they have three skills and an Awaken. Pretty much for all five stars. So what about four... Whoops. What about four stars? Four stars seem to have the same. I was about to say, I want to come back and look at his wings. That actually looks pretty dope. Except for that. 
It was alright before then, but now it's just like, eh. So yeah, actually pretty interesting when it comes to that. Alright, let's go in with our new characters and explore a little bit more. Wait, hold up. We got events here. Eww. Give me this. Ah. Ah. Sad face. So we got energy. So promote characters and get this scroll. So as you level, you get scrolls. That was this one. Okay, four star. Guaranteed. And a skill fairy at the end of it. And you can get a legendary. So there is sort of like a difference between most of the characters. And if I was to log in for seven days, I would get this. Like I said, pretty straightforward. Nothing like extremely off. What's going on here? Oh, you just pretty, pretty much telling me to change my name. I figured. Don't tell me they have like a VIP thing. Okay. Just making sure. I had to make sure there was no like VIP BS going on. And that would have made me skip this game completely. I'm going to take out you and bring you because you sound interesting. Oh, you can't use identical characters. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to take out you, bring you. Now let's go with a full archer team here. Go ahead and skip this. Your special skills, the hill. Yeah, we know about that. We don't have our healing character right now, to be honest. Oh, well, crit. <laughs> Wait, did she just... Did she just auto-take her turn? Is that what I just saw? I mean, if that's the case, I would want to build straight up crit, to be honest. Because so many successful attacks are crit for a lot of these characters. Too many, if you ask me. I thought she took a turn or something. Apparently not. Huh. Constant damage. Okay, I want to see how much constant damage do. Ah, okay. I see. That's what it means. Yes, that's not how bad getting rid of like certain enemies. And you immobilize me. Rude. Rude. Like there's something else I want to see. How does immobilize work? Ah, I can't move at all. So any character that knocks back and immobilizes is actually pretty strong. So noted, I know a little bit of which characters to bring. Alright. Pretty straightforward.
The only thing I've just noticed is that we're not really getting much from our quests. Hold on. Is that really the case? Are we not getting, like, in game currency for completing these? We're actually not. For stages, we're not getting any currency so far. Are you telling me we're getting it all from achievements and um, that's pretty much it? I'm really hoping this ain't the case. Because that would be depressing. You should always give players, you know, at least one, at least one or two crystals for completing the whole stage with three stars. But they don't do that, apparently. That's, that's weird. I guess they want you to do the dailies in the path guide and at the achievements too that's that's a poor choice to be honest I'm gonna be honest with you that's that's a poor choice I'm gonna just put my name in just because I'll play it a little bit longer just to see if I can get behind it so if you guys want to add me go for it I will definitely be playing this a little bit more so I can explore it uh, how much are summons again 30 yeah 30 for one summon I believe So, yeah. Gotta say, I'm questioning a lot here. Very, very much questioning a lot. And at the end, you get a legendary. So, I'm guessing it's like one each, to be honest. So, each time you summon, you get like one point for the milestone instead of like how much you use. Because if it was like this for like using 30, you would get 30 increase. Uh, that would be too easy. Is what I'm guessing at least. But not rewarding your characters for completing this stage with full three stars? I, I question that a little bit. I honestly do. Okay, I want to put you in. And where is that other chick? Um, I do want to see you since you have this weird skill. <laughs> I might take out you. Where's Lancelot? There she is. He or she. I, I can't really tell, to be honest. And then there's this guy. Yeah, I think we'll be fine with this. Oh, there's the other chick. That pretty much uh, moves and... Immobilizes. That's what they should have just called it. Immobilize. Instead of just going with the whole mobility thing. Okay, so kill, kill him. And the rest fall. Noted. Him, her. I, I can't really tell from his angle. Uh, yeah, that's exactly like the character that I have. I just want to see what the hell this skill is. Wait, is it? Okay, I guess it's on herself. Oh, it is. There we go. Ah, it gives a shield. That's what it does. Okay. Alright, we found the shield character. So I'm guessing that acts on max HP as well. So that's not half bad either.
I want to see what this fate is, so. Ah, no. Nah, he just keeps resisting. Stop resisting. Alright, kill the boss. Everybody else falls. Noted. I would love to keep playing this a little bit more, guys, but I pretty much showed you the gameplay and a little bit of how the character skills work, which is still very odd to me, for sure, of how some characters would have, like, three, one, well, not one, probably, like, maximum of two skills. It's weird. It definitely is, but also leads you to be like, hey, dude, you basically got to level up just to get these other skills, well, awaken, just to get these other skills. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Alright, so this would go up too, so you level up the leader skill as well. So, yeah, dude, a lot, a lot of crap in here that I gotta do. Jeez. I at least recommend trying it out, for sure. Come with me on the journey. I don't think they have gills or anything, by the way. I think it's just like a friendless and that's it. Yeah, just a normal friendless. So yeah, add me. Come across to this journey. Who am I going to put as... Excuse me. Okay, let's go with this as my leader and you guys can pretty much know who I am even though I'll probably change it in the future if you guys want to know oh I'm pretty sure there's not duplicated names right oh let's let's search oh well never mind find a friend is not where you go to find a friend <laughs> this is where you go to, oh okay never mind ID Do I just put in name and just do what? Wait, what? Am I missing the friend idea here? So I don't know how you find IDs. Um, let's see if it just search this guy. If I do this, okay, yeah, never mind. Didn't, yeah, you're pretty much good. I wonder if it's somebody that's not on my list, though. Hold on. Let's keep his name in there. I swear to God. If you have the search ID for whoever's on your list, it's going to be dumb. Okay, hold up. Refresh the list again. You're not on my list, right? Okay, you're not on the list. Okay, yeah. Then just type in my name. That's pretty much it. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We're going to end up there. Until then, peace out. <laughs> Alright, this was a quite interesting game for sure. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? What you got to lose?